as screen practitioners, we engage with all kinds of displays. Basically, we can classify them into two categories according to the materials they use, LCD and OLEDs. While OLEDs can be subdivided into hard and soft OLEDs, many would expect to distinguish them to avoid mistakes, but only get confused by seeing their unified looks. Today, we'll show you an effective way to tell them apart. Hard OLEDs have wider bottom bezel. It performs just like an LCD in this regard. Most of the hard OLEDs have a chin, measured more than 2.8 mm width. Soft OLEDs usually shrink its chin to below 2.5 mm. Here we can see these two screens have a deviation of approximate 1 mm, which is visible to naked eyes. Wider notch or chin means smaller display area. This is the weakness of hard OLEDs. Soft OLEDs can give us a more complete display, so it's now widely used by phone manufacturers. Soft OLEDs is made of plastic material, from which they inherit the flexibility, so it can be bent backwards, allowing a no-bezel bottom design. Lower the screen brightness until it's dark enough. Then take out your iPhone and open the camera. Switch it to slow motion mode then aim it at the screen. Slashes move upwards at a constant speed in an original screen. Aftermarket screen however, don't have such regular movement. You can only faintly see the picture flicking as it refresh itself. Well, just because it has a clear slash under the slow motion lens, doesn't mean it must be an original screen. Theoretically, Every OLED screen is to flip when it's self-luminous the pixels switch on and off alternately. So if an OLED screen has the similar pixel arrangement to and the same refresh rate as the original screen, it will show almost the same situation. Anyway, you may rest assured that you can filter out 99% non-OEM screens. By adopting this method, we fix about can handle the remaining 1% for you. If you have further questions to discuss, please leave a comment below. Any correction will be really appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time.